Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, my channel is about photography tips that will benefit you by learning how to take great shots. I also will be travelling and I'll be going to various locations on photo shoots. So let's get to it. So today's video is about what's the best camera to buy. So this question is a question that a lot of people ask me. What is the best camera? So my answer is the best camera is the one you can save up and afford to buy. The one you are going to feel comfortable holding and learning about all the different camera settings. So I recommend the Canon. And that's my own opinion. Everyone is different. So if you have any questions about settings on a camera, go in the comment section and I'll be happy to help you. So my digital cameras are here. The Canon 7D for a while now. So here I'll show you. It's the Canon 7D and you have all the different functions. You have your turn dial here again. So you have various settings and you can also have aperture control, shutter control. So I'll put that back down there. So I also have two L-series lenses. Um, I would recommend these for their superior image quality compared to the standard lens that, uh, that comes with the camera. But saying that, start with what you have and build your way up. It's all about the photo at the end of the day. So I have taken great shots with a regular lens or even the PowerShot camera, which brings me on to my Canon G11. This camera here. Again, you have the functions. And it flips off the screen so you can see what you're doing if you're recording yourself. I'll put that back down now. I love this camera as it is compact and light. Oh, did I forget to mention the DSLRs can be quite heavy when they have the L series lenses on them? So when I'm traveling, I can carry my Canon G11 anywhere, so it is quite light. This camera is great for taking photos and recording near. The image quality is great, and I have full use of the camera settings, which I just spoke about. It's lightweight and compact. I totally recommend investing in this camera for beginners. It's also very good as you can learn the functions here before getting your bigger DSLR camera. So. I also have my Canon 580X2 flash that I also worked my way up and bought. So again, using the pop-up flash is great for starting off for indulged areas. So I'll be teaching some tricks you can use for this in another video to give you lovely lighting in your shots. So with the external flash, you can also buy more add-ons such as a softbox or a white card. So I'll just show you the pop-up flash on the 7D. So here's the flash. So there's the pop-up flash. Put that down now. So to summarize the question, what's the best camera to buy? So it's the one you're going to be happy and comfortable using, the one you can save up and, and afford. I personally am a Canon camera person and my cameras are what are best for me. So thank you for watching. If you like my video, please click that subscribe button, like, comment and share. I appreciate all your support. Any questions or topics you want to learn about, leave them in the comment section below and I'm happy to help you. See you in my next video. Take care.